The world of professional sports has a long and storied history of rivalries, but none quite as intense as the ongoing battle off the court between two of the most dominant figures in the NBA today, LeBron James and Kevin Durant. The battle between these two greats is no longer just about who has the most championships or who has the best stats, but how you live your best life. Let's dive right in to see how these superstars spend their cheese and who is winning the lifestyle game, big time hoop style. Round 1. Vehicles When it comes to wheels, LeBron and KD have very different tastes. Being a strong believer in spending money on experiences, King James has spent a chunk of his money to grab an impressive collection of cars. These range from his expensive supercar, the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ Roadster, to his Rolls Royce. If you love colorful wheels, there's no doubt you'll be a fan of what James has done to this Aventador after giving it a floral print to match his Nike LeBron 11 Everglades shoe. This super wheel shoots the king from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds, just like driving to the hoop. Anyway, these wheels go for $670,000. LBJ got a Ferrari 599 for his birthday. Other cars in his collection include two Ferraris, a Rolls Royce, two Maybach, and a Porsche. Kevin Durant's taste in automobiles is just on a whole nother level, having the eighth most expensive garage worth over $4 million. When checking out Kevin's garage, one comes to mind that this is far more than an automobile, but a collectible with only 105 ever made. Believe it or not, this single automobile is worth more than half of Durant's whole collection. Durant owns a 1966 Ford GT40 built to beat Ferrari at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. This baby is worth a cool 2.5 million. Holy moly! Durant sees his cars as an investment and always goes for the ones with good resale value. Another highlight of his garage is the customized $42,500 Chevy Camaro SS, which lights up with its matte red body and matching wheels. Nike even went all in to celebrate this wheel with the release of a special V8 colorway for the KD8. This Camaro isn't the only American automobile he owns. He also has a $76,000 Cadillac Escalade, $46,000 Lincoln Continental, and $28,000 Jeep Wrangler. With such an impressive collection, Kevin Durant gets the point on this one. Round 2. Fashion In the fashion world, both LeBron James and Kevin Durant are game changers. They both have a propensity for creating a statement with their clothing and accessories on or off the court. But which of these ballers has the best fits? LeBron has got collaborations with top designers like Tom Brown, Nike, and Ralph Lauren. LeBron has always been a fan of Browns and ran with it in 2018 after he and his Cavs teammates wore Browns through the playoffs and into the finals. Talk about class. LeBron often rocks tailored suits and can also go simple with his fitted jeans and statement sneakers. But in his downtime, you can find him wearing vintage tees, high-end streetwear, and designer eyewear. Durant, on the other hand, has a strong affinity for modern streetwear. His style is more relaxed, featuring lots of hoodies, graphic tees, and athletic wear. He's also been spotted sporting luxury pieces from brands like Dior and Louis Vuitton. Whatever you like, there's no disputing that both LeBron and KD have earned their places as NBA-style icons. But for this round, we've got no choice but to give LeBron the point. He really rocks it in those dope outfits. Round 3. Jets Time is the one thing, no matter how rich you are, that's scarce, and these two superstars are no exception to the rule. So when they do travel, these stars make the most of it by chilling out in jets and have been spotted boarding them in style on numerous occasions. Although both stars are now among the elite group of people who can afford private jets and enjoy the perks that come with it, Katie is yet to get one despite being a Silicon Valley tycoon. LeBron James is known to be a fan of luxurious amenities and has gone as far as to purchase his own Gulfstream G280 private jet, which is estimated to cost $22 million. As a family man, he uses it to make time for family. He once used it to make an early appearance at Bronny's basketball game. LeBron refuses to let his kids ride on his plane to teach them some humility. 
On board, James can enjoy VIP services like concierge attendance, unlimited Wi-Fi, satellite TV, and even a full-service kitchen. For this round, LeBron got the knockout punch. Round 4. Bling. Both ballers have been seen sporting expensive watches, rings, and chains. While both players enjoy wearing jewelry, LeBron takes it to the next level with his exotic taste in bling, but his most crazy one is a light-up lion gatekeeper diamond pendant. This hefty beast is made from 130 grams of 14 karat gold encrusted with 35 carats of VS1 diamonds. He also wears a variety of iced out watches from Patek Philippe to Audemars Piguet to Richard Mill to Rolex. On the other hand, Kevin Durant has taken a more subtle approach and loves donning Rolex watches. He's also been seen in a steel Daytona with a black ceramic bezel and a white dial when he's not wearing his classic yellow gold Day Date 2 President with a fluted bezel. Another Rolex in Kevin Durant's collection is the popular steel Sky Dweller with a white gold fluted bezel and black dial. Whether it's a flashy watch or an understated chain, they both know how to show, but LeBron's got the point for this round. Round 5. Real Estate Real estate investments are a popular way for athletes to diversify their wealth, and both of them have made significant investments in this sector. LeBron's real estate empire is expansive and growing. He owns multiple properties across the U.S., one of which is his Akron Mansion. This is a 30,000 square foot mansion featuring six bedrooms, eight full bathrooms, a recording studio, and a personal movie theater. Anyways, he dropped 9.2 million for this crib. He also owns a $23 million mansion in Brentwood, a Beverly Hills estate. LeBron and his family are seen a lot in the front driveway playing hoops on social media. Durant's real estate portfolio is more modest, but it's still impressive. He only owns two cribs, one of which spans over 10,000 square feet and sits on 1.8 acres in the Hidden Hills subdivision in Southern California. This gated community is really private, but is swarmed by celebrities like Lil Wayne and Drake. But with a $15.6 million tag, Durant grabbed this luxury. He also owns a $6 million mansion with seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms and over 9,000 square feet in Oakland Hills. The two stars are really diversifying their income streams, but LeBron is leading in this race. Round 6. Businesses The two sharks are building impressive business empires and it's probably the smart choice as they can't play forever. James doesn't spend all his money, he uses a chunk of that to make some wise investments. He has ownership stakes in several entities like a 2% stake in Liverpool FC, co-founder of Spring Hill Entertainment, and co-owner of Blaze Pizza. His career endorsements have made him one of the most sought-after players in the league, having deals with AT&T, Crypto.com, GMC, Pepsi, Ramoa, and Walmart. On the other hand, Durant has also been successful in business, launching a venture capital firm called 35 Ventures. He's also an investor in various tech companies such as Postmates, Zoom, Coinbase, and Lime. Some of these deals were big home runs for KD. Additionally, he has endorsement deals with Nike, Beats by Dre, and Alaska Airlines. While LeBron makes more money, Kevin Durant changed the game for professional athletes becoming venture capitalists. Now, stars like Serena Williams, Steph Curry, and Aaron Rodgers are getting into the game. This one goes to KD for paving the way. While they may be rivals on the court, these two superstars have lifestyles most of us only dream of or see in the movies. At the end of this war, we have two points for Kevin Durant and four points for King James, making him the winner of the war of the most luxurious lifestyle. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.